uh, let's now uh, consider a particular relation which is uh, quite uh, opposite to the odd relation in the sense that uh, uh, an odd relation uh, whereas there is no uh, element or ordered pair present uh, as far as the universal relation is concerned we have all possible ordered pairs so uh, consider a given set A and uh, if a relation is uh, made such that uh, uh, the Cartesian product of the set itself uh, forms a subset of uh, the Cartesian the Cartesian product of the sets of, of the given set. Uh, what I mean is that uh, uh, if A times A is a subset of uh, A times A, then naturally we are dealing with a relation on set A. And the key property is that it's a universal relation in the sense that each element of A is related to every element of set A. Uh, well, what it exactly means is that now when I uh, ordered pair AB, uh, all the elements uh, which are particip participating from uh, both the uh, sets, uh, both the participating sets, that is in this particular case the set itself are forming ordered pairs. That is, uh, it implies that uh, the ordered pair AB, uh, which is an element of the relation, is in such a manner that uh, that ordered pair is an uh, element of uh, A times A or, or uh, the Cartesian product of the set itself. <laughs> this means that all possible ordered pairs or, 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 or uh, all the elements are uh, forming uh, ordered pairs. So the number of ordered pairs is, is naturally the maximum uh, in the case of a uh, universal relation for any given uh, particular set. Uh, let's take a uh, simple example to get a clear picture. Now, um, the, taking a set A, uh, which consists of the even natural numbers, that's 2, 4, 6, and 8. And uh, suppose a relation R is defined by R is the AB is an element of R such that AB a times B, that is the Cartesian product, uh, is equal to 2N, where N uh, is an element of uh, capital N, that is uh, the set of natural numbers. Now we know that uh, the multiplication between uh, two even natural numbers would uh, uh, give a even number and uh, it wouldn't give, uh, it, it doesn't give an odd number. So it simply means that uh, as all the elements of set A are even natural numbers, uh, a, a multiplication process, a multiplication operation between any two of uh, <clears throat> those numbers would only give an even number, which simply means that if such a relation is defined, then all the elements would be uh, forming ordered pairs in such a relation. That is, uh, a, B, a times B is equal to 2N for all uh, <clears throat> And the ordered pair AB is an element of A. That means uh, we'll be getting all uh, possible ordered pairs as far as this particular relation is concerned. That is, uh, the relation is uh, uh, A times A, uh, which implies that uh, we, we are dealing with an universal relation on that particular given set. Uh, now, uh, there are two interesting points to note uh, as far as this, the universal relation is concerned. As, as I already told, um, because all uh, possible ordered pairs are involved in this particular relation, we are dealing with the, uh, with the largest relation possible for a given, given set. And uh, once again, as it say, it's a, uh, it's also a theoretical or, or a mathematical property in the sense that uh, it's it's uh, uh, all, all, all all possible ordered pairs are being created and uh, it's 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 coming from the Cartesian products of the sets itself so so uh, it's in a manner it's a it's a trivial relation thank you